Well, howdy, howdy. What's up, guys? It's Pixel Lady DeBalo. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome back to the final episode of the Scottish campaign. This is episode number 55, and you're probably thinking, what? Apollo, you have things to do. You have objectives to take. This is not going to be the final episode, and I say to you, screw you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh... I'm ending it here mostly because of the constant crashing. I cannot take it anymore. This game crashes more than the stock market. I, I, that was a stupid joke. But yeah, it, it crashes all the time. Whenever there's a big siege battle, whenever there's a pitch battle with more than three armies, it crashes and it's so frustrating, so annoying that I, you don't know how many times that I've, I've redone an episode because my audio file gets corrupted because the recording crashes. It's so frustrating and I just I've just lost interest. It's just I have enjoyed this game. I've enjoyed the battles and the role playing, but it's just the crashing is really ruining for ruining it for me. Also, I have a lot of new series that I'm excited about and I want to go ahead and get started. I can't really get started until I finish this let's play. And this let's play, if I didn't end it here, it would probably go on for a couple more weeks just because of the constant crashing. And the crashing even changes my playstyle, which I don't like. Like, I have to avoid certain certain battles and I have to auto-resolve certain battles because of the crashing. Like, for example, Frankfurt here, there was a crusade called on it. What am I going to do? I can't fight it back. I can't fight it off because it's just going to keep crashing. All I can do is auto-resolve, and that's what happened to this settlement over here, Rigia. Uh, they took it over because I just had to auto-resolve or the campaign couldn't continue because it keeps crashing. So, uh, yeah, that's the situation, guys. We're going to enjoy this campaign one last time. It has been a lot of fun. I mean, we started way back with this campaign. We did a vote. You guys voted on Scotland, and it's been a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the campaign so far, and I hope you guys aren't too mad that this campaign is over and I'm I'm ending it early but you know if you're mad you can just unsubscribe or something I mean if you subscribe just for this campaign then yeah you're probably not gonna really like my channel anyways because I do focus on online battles and I'm pretty I'm pretty crappy at a single player which is another reason why I just want to move on from this so uh, anyways let's enjoy this one last time maybe have a couple glorious battles and then we'll call it a, a campaign we'll call it a let's play um, even though some people disagree, you gotta finish it. Oh well, here we go. Okay, um, we're currently attacking this rebel settlement. And honestly, I want to take back this settlement that Novgorod took from us. We do have a pretty solid army here, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I mean, that's a pretty strong force he's gotten there. So we should probably get them going as soon as possible. And of course, that's going to make the settlement unhappy. And there's nothing we can do about it. All right. Um, maybe we should send some troops back. Uh, what's here? You go back. There we go. That that made him a little bit happier. So let's go ahead and drop the troops off. And we're gonna have to wait another turn. So there we go. I don't know if this army is gonna be strong enough to take out this this force here, but we do have reinforcements coming this way. So there we go. Um. We could we could try fighting this this rebel settlement here. I mean, this is garbage. Pavi spear militia, urban crossbow militia. I mean, this is this is complete garbage. So we should be able to auto resolve this. But look at the pounds. This is stupid. The oh my god. All right, we'll just maintain. We could just go on and fight. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Whatever. Let's have a good old siege battle to end this campaign. Bunch of rebel forces. Rebel scum. Scum. Uh, we'll probably have a couple more battles too. I just want to be able to, uh, you know, sit back and enjoy the battle. Let's just hope it doesn't crash. I don't think there's, you know, enough forces, enough troops to make it crash. But, oh man. what a, It would be just a big old slap in the face if it crashed on me. I'd be like, nope, I'm done. I'm done with this damn campaign. I've had enough. Okay, so I know a lot of people are going to get upset because I'm finishing this early, but honestly, I got to do what I want to do. This is, uh, you know, it's my channel where I focus on online battle, and single player is not my focus, and I feel like it's kind of, be it's, it's, be it's, it's now starting to be the focus. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want that to happen. Again, online play is my thing. I just enjoy it a lot more. Um, okay, so Cav... 
what we're gonna do is just go for this wall right here we don't have any artillery but hopefully we got enough troops to take it we do have some nice axemen here which are gonna be very handy let's go ahead and get the spears very nice and the archers we don't i mean i guess we'll leave one with the ram just in case um there's an opportunity to open up the gate but hopefully this is enough it should be let's do this to Valhalla! Valhalla! Yeah, my men have... They, they have adapted the Viking religion. Even though that's pretty much been gone for a while. They... they, they did I say adapted? They adopted. Ad <laughs> Words are hard. Yeah. They believe in Valhalla now. So we'll go ahead and move up the uh, infantry as reinforcements. Pretty epic music going on right now, not gonna lie. Turn off skirmish mode, put my archers in loose formation, push them up as well. Except for the ram, you stop. There we go. Okay, fantastic, what do they got defending here? It looks like he's got his Pavi spears, a couple crossbows, not a big deal. We'll go ahead and fast forward, watch my men break as soon as they get there, that would be lovely. Charge for the glory of Scotland. Here they go. All right, so it's begun. Let's go ahead. Towers are yes. Walls. Our enemy have nowhere to hide now. Thank you, Captain Obvious. There's nowhere to hide. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. All right, so we got our troops going up here. We should probably send some forces to get ready to uh, go ahead and follow their comrades into battle. Get up on those on those ladders. So this is the toughest part, taking the walls, just just because of like troops get I don't know, I feel like they, they're stronger, they have better morale. I don't know if it's necessarily better morale. It's just it's easier for troops to de to defend walls. Also they have arrow towers firing at me. Let's go ahead and tell the feudal knights here to attack right here. This feudal knight unit should do easy work against these urban crossbow militia. Well, let's go ahead and send up more men. Archers. Ah, archers, you just stop. There's no need for archers. They're just going to get a bunch, a bunch of friendly fire. Let's go ahead and send up more infantry. There we go. You guys get up here. It's time to party. It's time to party. All right, you guys get up there too. My Slav mercenaries. Check them out. Oh, yeah. Check out those hats. The latest fashion in the medieval world. Envied across the world. Do the catwalk. The battle is very much in our favor. All right, let's go ahead and send this uh, and spear unit this way. Victory will be ours. Victory will be ours. Come on, get up there, men. Yeah, my feudal knights are gonna chew up these these rebel scum. There you go, feudals. You're making me so proud. Look at my nobles just chopping heads off, sweeping troops. That is lovely. Come on, keep coming. Keep pouring in. Are we breaking up here? We are breaking through. Urban Spear Militia. Yeah, we'll go ahead and open up the gates. Oh, he has a unit waiting there. They've got a couple units waiting here. Interesting. Okay, I guess we won't go up the gates. More infantry up there. More, go. Here, you know what? Let's take this infantry. They're gonna flank around. So you get up on the ground. Get down on the ground, that's what I meant. You can't go up on the ground. That doesn't make sense. Looks like there's a little jam here. Can't get any more forces up for whatever reason. That's annoying. Alright, so what we're gonna do is flank around this unit here, and hopefully we can defeat them by doing that. Spears, go! Go, ya Spears! Alright, so they're still climbing up here, that's good. Pretty soon we, we should be able to break these bastards. Wait, why do I have noble archers fighting? Did I tell noble archers to go up here? My bad. Whatever, they'll do alright in melee. Come on, guys. I need you to hustle. Didn't I tell him to march? Uh, the pathfinding. Eastern spearmen. Let's do it for the east and the west. 
Go. Your feudal brothers need your help. Oh, nobles. Can you like, can you do something, nobles? They're, they're bugged out up on the walls. That's lovely. All right, let's uh, tell my spears to get up here. Go, 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 hut, 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 hut. Look at them all, that is wonderful. All right, attack. They're surrounded now. These Pavi spears surrounded. The feat seems certain for them. Are we winning over here? The feat seems certain, awesome. So once we do that, we're just gonna go for the town center, make him come to us. I'm not gonna chase down his defending forces, screw that. <sighs> I wish I could get these troops up here. Oh, are they gonna march? Oh, they're finally marching. Is this unit gonna break soon? They're shaking. Shake and bake. There we go. Man, they're killing them to the end. Okay, now they're breaking. Alright, so we're victorious here. So let's go ahead and take my, my nobles and attack this unit. We'll take the feudal knights down here and just go ahead and get them ready for the town center. It's a pretty straight shot to the town center here. It's not going to be too hard. Come on, break them. And then once we uh, take over all the walls, we'll go ahead and push for the town center. God, man, these Pavi Spear Militia, they're holding their own. I respect them. I'll give them a quick death. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, break. Uh-oh, is that reinforcements? Looks like reinforcements to me. Let's go ahead and send uh, my spears to take care of them. Break. Alright, let's go ahead and get my spears down here. Is this unit breaking yet? No, not yet. Soon though. Soon. Epic wall battle right here. No crashing yet either. Man, they do not like the break. That is impressive. All right, let's go ahead and march for the town center. Why wait? We don't need to wait. God, die, Only Pavis, die. Force remains. All right, we killed half of their army. Let's go ahead and fast forward, because I don't want this to be the whole episode. All right, and then we'll take my nobles down here as well. Oh, oh, is he waiting for me? Mailed knights, ready to party. Charge in before they charge into you. Oh, this is some cool looking mailed knights. Too bad they have to die. Where's my spears? <sighs> they never listen. My field knights. Oh, they broke. Damn, they wrecked me. Whatever. <laughs> Let's send in another wave of troops. Into the slaughter. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true, this should go better because I have spears. Will be ours. Man, these God, these rebels—they're well trained. All right, now we're we're chewing them up. And my feudal knights return to the fight. Cowards. Oh, that's their captain. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Yeah, he does. We, we all right. We won over here, so let's go ahead and send the the troops to the town center. Get over there. And we won over here. So everybody march to the town center. Let's just go ahead and uh, kill, kill. There we go. The enemy general lies dead. We have set the car to That's hell. a cool looking unit. Let's kill those Pavis. There we go, they broke. And that's pretty much his army, right? I mean, he's got some troops back here that are just kind of sitting here. Okay, he's reading, retreating to the town center. 
That's good for him. All right, he's breaking some of my units. I will right, we'll go ahead and do normal speed. Hey, okay, do we got some? Yes, we got more reinforcements showing up. Come on, kill that horsey. Let's take this settlement once and for all. Look at these pavies. They look pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. All right, we need more, more infantry. Flank around. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna surround these bastards. How are they gonna fight surrounded? Probably not really well. Charge in. There we go. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain all right. true and steadfast, so all we can do is wa ours. look back and or sit back. That's what I meant. And watch this awesome battle surrounding the Javi's spearmen. And then we got some uh, skirmishers over here. Kill them. Kill them all. Alright, so we killed all the Pavis. They are all dead. Let's finish off this final unit. And we can go ahead and call it a victory. I sent Andrew. Our men have Yay. control of the city. So that was a pretty good battle. We didn't lose too many forces. Clear yeah, clear victory. Only men of great virtue and valor. Yes, of course. That would be me. So uh, we lost 400 men, pretty much. And we killed 552, captured 53, and took a city. So we're another city stronger. That's lovely. Another city uh, closer to finishing this, even though we're finishing no matter what this episode. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, let's take it. Your foes we're gonna loot because I like looting. These people now need and we'll go ahead and build some time. troops. Victory. Build some troops, train some buildings. You know how it goes in Apollo's kingdom. Okay, uh, we're still under siege. I think this is a champion of Scotland. By the way, he's 72 years old, so maybe we won't have to see him die. <laughs> so we get to watch him live on forever, I guess. Unless he dies in this episode. Uh, Frankfurt is doing alright. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? We could go for Lithuania. Um, I don't know. I thought we had an army nearby. I think this was the army we were going to send towards Lithuania. But we're going to attack him. Alright, so what, what I want to do now uh, is go to France. Let's see. Do I have a diplomat nearby? Let's see. Let's, let's find my diplomat. Uh, diplomat, diplomat. Diplomat. Okay, you're too far away. Someone near France. Too far away. We might just have to train one. You're pretty close. Let's see, where are you? Yeah, get to France. I don't know, that's pretty far. I don't see any French settlements. I don't think this is a French settlement anymore. But we'll see and find out. Yeah, it's not. Or is it? Um, no. Yes, this is still a French settlement. Okay, so we'll go ahead and end the turn. See what happens. See what great crusading armies show up now. Oh, we're gonna have a battle here? Alright, another battle. Republic of Genoa. Showing up with reinforcements. Wow, a lot of reinforcements. Alright, this battle's probably gonna crash. Uh, Alright, let's do a quick save. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that worked, but whatever. Okay, there we go. Let's let's do this. Let's this fight. Do Scotland proud. Do Scotland proud. And this might be the final battle of the Scottish campaign. That's right, guys. The final battle. Because we are running out of time. We have 10 minutes left. Our Here we go. To be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Don't worry, we'll have reinforcements. All right, three units of spear militia, or urban spear militia. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up the okay, numbers, cool. they lack in courage. Reinforcements are nearby, so let's just go ahead and, uh, you men are gonna hold with your life. Hold. 
And then here comes the reinforcements. Looks like we're gonna have everybody here except for some cav. Oh my god, look at all the spear militia. This is like a classic AI army. Let's just go ahead and march them forward. Hey, you guys attacked me, so... Let's, uh, let's rush this. Uh-oh. Got some cav coming in. Charge. Oh my god, they wrecked my spears. But we wrecked their cav. Screw you, Genoa. You're dead. Alright, let's get my men closer to my reinforcements. We should probably hurry up my reinforcements. Let's go ahead and group up my infantry. And let's actually do double line, because why not? There we go. Double it up, boys. And then get my infantry, my elite infantry nearby. My general is up here. Uh-oh. Loose formation. Quick. Oh, God. Oh, uh, there goes the captain. That's alright. Who cares? Oh, loose formation, guys. Loose formation. Oh, my God. Look at that green cab. That's awesome. Man, he's coming for me. General, come down here. That's their general's bodyguard. Let's kill him. Alright, catapult, trebuchets. Fire. Well, actually, there's not really a good juicy target to fire at. Alright, trebuchet, just stop right there. Did we kill the general yet? Not yet. Almost. Man, my general really took a beating there. Uh-oh. Let's uh, push forward my uh, spears this way. All right, kill that general. He's right there. He's in our... Oh, come on. Kill him. My general better kill him. Uh-oh. General, general, get out. Get out. Get out. The Battle of Spear Militia. I should probably tell my men to get in tight formation. Where's my general? Okay, he's, he made it out safely, but their general's still alive. Fighting right into the mix of the battle, right in the front lines. What a brave soul. Alright, one unit flank around so we can surround these bastards. Sitting in his damn Pavi spears. Can we kill the damn general? Please? Can my men stop breaking? Oh my god, kill him. What the hell? Pretty intense battle, guys, if I do say so myself. We need to do more flanking. Oh, what the hell? Are you serious? His general is still alive. Look at him just standing there with all his glory. Oh my god, my men are just breaking left and right. When do I get my reinforcements? Damn. Alright, let's go ahead and fire my trebuchets at the units back here. Yes, kill him. If we kill him, we win. That's how it goes. Alright, there goes my trebuchets. Uh oh. Where's my general? Get away from the spears. Alright, my army is breaking. Oh jeez. I got a lot of troops just all over the place. Come on guys, get back into the fight. It's hard to tell who's who because everyone has urban spear militia or whatever it's called. Oh my god, my trebuchets are open. They're exposed. Ah! 
And my troops break over here. I'll let my general die with his men. Trebuchet, go ahead and join the fight. You did literally nothing. Alright, Urbans. Watch out, here comes some Cav. Lord have mercy. We have lost half our men. Alright, so my army's pretty much wasted. Uh, my general's still alive. How about that? Good for him. Uh, everyone's breaking. Good god. What do you expect from Urbans? Urban Spiamawisha. My feudals are kicking ass though. Our noble allies have lost their leader. Without their general, they may lose heart and Oh, pain. my general died. Rest in peace, buddy. Just like this campaign. Rest in peace. Yeah, I just wanted to properly end this. I know I didn't properly end it, but I wanted to just make a final episode instead of just, you know, not making any more. Oh, crushed. Anyways, um, this is a great, this is a great way to end it. A good old defeat. And my reinforcements over here are not going to show up. Not that they're going to help at all. Alright, the troops are like breaking and returning. And we can't kill that general, can we? That's so frustrating. Like, the general should be dead. Oh, okay, everyone is breaking. Who's still alive? My feudal knights. They're gonna break. Oh, they break. Everyone is breaking. There we go. We finally got some guys showing up. No, it's not over. I got reinforcements. I can turn it around. See? They're back. No, you bastards. Alright, we killed only 311. That's terrible. So that's what you get when you have a full army of uh, spear militia. Urban spear militia. And, uh... Yeah, guys, we are out of time. This is where we're going to end it. Again, I'm really sorry if you enjoyed this campaign, if you, you know, were looking forward to it every time. I could tell that people were losing interest. Um, we'll go ahead and accept it. What's happening here? <laughs> the game won't even let me accept it. The, look at my money, it's going down. Look at this, this is a glitch. Look at this. It's, look at my money down there. What the f That's such bull crap. <laughs> it's like the game knows, it just wants me to quit. Oh, I originally I was gonna give all my money to France and be like, good luck. Uh, but yeah, I really am sorry if you enjoyed this. Most people weren't enjoying it. You know, they lost interest because I'm a pretty bad single player player and, um, you know, it's dragging on and the constant crashing. You know, I, I've already to told you guys everything about what I had issues with this campaign. But the good news is that in the future, we're going to have some new Let's Plays where we are going to do a new Divide and Conquer campaign and we're going to stream it live. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty fun because you're going to give me advice and it's like I'm going to refer to you guys as the council instead of like the chat. You're the council. So we're going to let the, the turn here go one more time. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I would I would say overall this campaign was a lot of fun. Uh, attacking Norway and Denmark was a blast. You know there was some epic battles going on uh, throughout this campaign. Now a lot of them crashed, but nonetheless it was really fun. And uh, yeah, again I just want to focus on multiplayer and do multiplayer stuff. Just just the the way I want to focus my channel to. I'm gonna have a video soon in the future talking about all the new series that are co that are coming out most of them are going to be online battle series uh one's going to be uh, siege academy which isn't it's not necessarily an online battle series it's going to be a bunch of tutorials on how to be a, a better siege battle it's going to be for like newer players uh beginner player or maybe even advanced players that want to learn something new here or there or maybe leave comments about stuff that maybe i missed out on uh i'm gonna have that and then i'm going to have um 
a it's kind of it's going to be kind of like an extension of siege academy it's going to be like siege academy online battles Sorry, where you're, maybe you're a newer player and you're playing your first siege battle you can send it in all i'm going to do is focus on your army and your tactics give you advice and maybe other players will be able to uh, learn from that and i'm also going to do a siege challenge friday where i'm going to write a challenge in the steam group and you guys have to try the challenge and give me the battle replay and every friday i will release the replay look at all these notifications what is this what kind of madness is this it's all the prisoners released this is obviously a glitch look at this all the times i clicked on prisoners to be released this is insane what the hell all right this is a good this is just a good note to end it on Thank you guys so much. If you've watched episode 1 to episode 55, you deserve a cookie because that's amazing. I don't even think I would watch every episode just because this campaign dragged on and it wasn't the most exciting thing. But hopefully I brought some sort of entertainment to your lives, some positive enlightenment. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this is my last episode. Thank you so, so much for watching and supporting this campaign. It means a lot to me. I hope you guys can understand and I will see you next time.